Some of you are like me and are knife nuts. By definition, that means that you have a lot of knives. But where do you store them? In a drawer? In a shoebox? In a lunchbox? Sure, all these can be used, but if you have valuable knives, you want to keep them safe and keep them from getting damaged. And that's what this video is about. An economical option to store your knives that'll run you about $35 a sort of do-it-yourself guide to making a hard case storage system. So let's go inside and find out more about this. Hello and welcome back to Blade Insider, where we talk all things knives. And before I forget, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also, if you get anything out of this video, hit the like button. This video is part two of my series on how to store your knives. In part one, we discussed the drop valet. This is a very nice option to hold the knives that you carry most. Valet held seven knives as part of your week rotation. Here in part two, I want to discuss an economical option to hold five times as many knives. Knife nuts or knife collectors need a way to store their knives and transport them, organize them, and keep them out of the hands of kids. As I referenced in the opening, people store these knives in all sorts of places, including drawers and shoe boxes, but that's not going to keep them from getting damaged and it won't help you much in the way of transporting them. Some alternatives have been knife rolls and pelican cases. Knife rolls can be an economic an efficient way to transport your knives, but they still rub against each other and children can pretty easily get to them. Another great option, but expensive, is using a pelican case with now pack inserts. Traditionally, these cases have ran about $129 with pick and pluck foam inserts. Now pack makes really nice knife foam inserts for many cases, including the Peloton 1450. The foam itself costs $87, and they sell both the case and the foam for $163. Drop also sells a Pelican case with nail pack, but that only holds 19 knives for about $120. That's a lot of money compared to a $17 12 knife knife roll. While this video is not about spending $163 on a knife case, this video is about building your own knife case for less than $35 with all the same features and protections of the $163 knife case. Here's my Apache 3800 case. You can pick these up from Harbor Freight with a coupon usually less than $30. The Apache 3800 is very comparable to the Pelican 1450, but almost one-fifth the price. There were over 1,500 reviews for this product, and it earned 4.8 out of 5 stars. So, it's a solid product and every bit as durable as the Pelican case. Inside the case, there are two levels of pick and pluck foam. This foam can be picked out of both levels in order to store your knives. On the internet, there are a number of templates for the Apache 3800 that you can use to determine which foam to pluck. Knives can be laid out horizontal, such as the aforementioned drop case, or vertical, like my case here. I have attached a link to a vertical template below. I suggest that you use this template to plan the layout of your knife. The next step is to draw out the layout on foam using a Sharpie marker. Remember, you will need to mark up both levels of foam. Make sure that you orient your template the same way on both levels, otherwise your alignment will be off. Next is to use a sharp, thin knife to pluck the pieces of foam out of the case. It is best to have patient small hands for this task. 
You have to take your time because you don't get a second chance at this. Once this is done, the foam inserts will be fragile because you removed a lot of the supporting foam. You'll want to coat this foam in a rubber coating such as Performex's Plastidip. This rubber compound is in an aerosol spray can that you can pick up at Lowe's for about six bucks. The rubber coating will stiffen up the foam while keeping it flexible and stretchy, and it helps it from breaking apart. Once you've done this, you will have a permanent solution to keep your knives safe and from damage. Let's go to the bench and show you how this is done. Taking a look at the outside of the case, we see that it's pretty durable with thick black plastic. The handle is heavy duty with no worries of it breaking off the case. The rear hinges compromise over half of the rear of the case. And when the case is opened, the hinge will lock the lid in the open position. There are four layers of foam in the case. The bottom layer is a thin layer not meant to be plucked. On top of that, we have two layers of thicker foam that have been scored and are adjustable to your needs, whether it's a knife case, gun case, or to store camera equipment. Finally, the top layer sits in the lid and is an eggshell crate foam layer. Again, this is not meant to be plucked. I've already made my knife case, but recently I bought an Apache 4800 to store other equipment. The 4800 is slightly larger than the 3800. Modifying the foam for this equipment is the same process as building your own knife case. The middle two layers of the foam are scored and pluckable. These are the layers you want to mark up with your Sharpie. Take your time, and if you mess up, just turn the foam over and begin again. After the foam is marked, you'll need to use a sharp, thin knife to help with removing the foam. If you pluck the foam with your hands, you'll end up tearing too much of it. It's best to use a knife. I have large hands, which are not conducive to delicate work. My better half has much more patience and smaller hands. When you're doing this, try to enlist some help if you think you'll need it. Also, it's important to save some of the pieces. These can be used in some of the holes that house the smaller knives. The foam is fragile, and after you followed your template and plucked it out, you can leave it in this condition, or you can stiffen it up. I use a product called Plastidip found at Lowe's. This is a rubber coating in a spray can. It can be applied like spray paint to the foam. Now the foam will just soak this up, so you need to apply it in several coats. Apply it liberally, but not to the point where it starts to run. Coat all sides and the inside where you pluck the foam on both layers until you run out of the can. Now let your foam dry for at least 12 hours, depending on the weather, and you're ready to go. Here is a finished product. Adding the Plasti Dip to the foam will add to the life of the product. I highly recommend that you do this step. I've had this case for about a year and still love it. I use it every week because it protects my knives, keeps them out of the reach of kids, and helps me organize them. For about 35 bucks, it's the best option to store a lot of knives, and the Apache 3800 is the best size to hold these knives without being overwhelmingly too big. So what do you think? How do you store your knives? Is there a better, safer, and more economical way to store knives in your knife collection? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've linked a couple other videos in the comment section that I use for inspiration. I would like to thank them as well. Also, I've linked a copy of a template that you can use. There are many templates out there and they all vary on the number of knives that you can store in your case. Pick the one that you like best. Well, that's a lot of information. If you got anything out of this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. 
Also, ring the bell for notifications of new videos. We'll see you next time.